YouTube. All right, so today we are going to finally finish up this rear backup camera install. Uh, we're gonna go over to my buddy Mike's house. He's done some coding over the last couple years. Um, hopefully he's not too rusty, but we are going to have him code the car so that we can make this camera accessible through the iDrive system. So um, in addition to that, we might do a couple other other little coding things like um, automatic roll up on the windows when the doors are open. Uh, we might do like a Euro turn signal, four blink, that sort of thing. Um, we'll have to go ahead and see what our options are, but we're gonna show you what that process looks like and uh, then we will wrap up the, the install, finally. Uh, we're gonna start the coding process here soon, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you his M3. I'll give you a little bit of rundown of what he's got done to this thing and uh, we'll kind of show you what the process is for uh, coding the vehicle. All right, so we're now at my buddy Mike's house. This is his 2011 E92 M3. Um, don't mind the dirt and the mess in the garage, but, and don't mind the giant battery tender, but this is a VF620 kit. He bought this brand new back in 2011 or 2010. OSS, or no, I'm sorry, 180 headlights. Um, it's got a, um, an Escort 9500 CI integrated radar system. As you can see by the jammers. Front camera. He's also got a rear camera. Uh, a bunch of IND parts. It's a six speed manual. <clears throat> and uh, it's got an Akrapovich Evo X pipe, Eisenman race rear section. He's got the moonroof. OEM BMW Performance spoiler. It's custom painted. It's ghost painted. Full OEM carbon fiber trim. It's a fast car. All right, so this is my buddy Mike. Uh, he's kind of my little tech guru, so he's going to show you what to do in terms of coding the vehicle. Um, what you need first is a laptop, something um, portable that you might want to plug in. Um, you also need a KD CAN cable. KD CAN cable, and we're plugging that into the um, OBD2 port, which is down here. So pull the cover off, plug it in. The other end of that is a USB. So once you got everything connected, Mike, what's the name of the program that you're using to code? NCS Expert. NCS Expert. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is plug the key in. So this is the BMW Diagnostics program to test different functionalities and see error codes. It's a good way to verify a good connection to the ECU and CAN bus system by the ignition. We got ignition so we got a good connection. So that's all I do with that program. We have a special guest attending as well. This is Craig. Finally get a chance to see his car in person and moving. This is a 13 DCT Fire orange. So Craig has an M Performance exhaust, uh, BMW Performance kidney grills, Lux H8 Angel Eyes. We're going to pull those splitters off. BMW Performance side grills. Let's see, carbon mirror caps, carbon roof, carbon spoiler. I'm gonna get to show you guys the interior. This thing's pretty badass. Ah, oh, ruining the video. <clears throat> this was an expensive option for this interior pinstriping. It's on all the seats. Super nice. 
awesome. We've got carbon fiber interior trim as well. Lots of goodies to put on this thing. So Craig is getting his wheels powder coated. What do you guys think? Should he do color matched brake calipers? Let us know in the comments. So what we did first was we loaded the proper computer system, the CIC. We need to read it using this German, I believe, Coderin Index Lesson. Coderin Daten Lesson, sorry. By selecting that and executing that job, it's reading all the coding variables that are programmed into the CIC. Now that has been done, I can use a simple program created by, I forget the gentleman's name, but NCS Dummy is the thing. So it basically takes the trace files of the computer and puts it to plain English with check marks and I guess not check marks. So we select the proper programming index of the various programming or what the CIC is programmed at. So for Adam's car, it's a C1A. Browsing within the work folder the trace file, which is basically just reading and outputting all the data for all the parameters within the CIC. So out of all these, all these options, BMW has built this CIC module for all their different lines. Not just the M3, but also all 3 series and basically all X series, every car they have. So there's a lot of options that aren't pertinent to an M series. But to enable the camera control that did not come standard on this car, but comes standard on other cars, the Germans were smart and just, just didn't activate it because it wasn't an option on the car. So I had to find the options which were easily spelled out for us in this little forum. These different options, macro PDC, macro rear view, rear CIC, the park menu, and the direction to change his vertical orientation for his uh, obstacles. So by changing just these five variables within here, and then exporting that, it creates that trace file to the working file, by hitting that, changes all the variables from not active to active, instead of me having to type it in manually, going back to the programming tool, changing it to, hey, we're gonna actually code now, not just read, execute the job, and we now have, we already did it, but now have his rear view camera with all the options that we wanted. And we can even turn it off if we wanted to. And it's going to show a top down view and a whole car view. And I don't have PDC or anything, but oh, you can uh, turn that off then. I can turn that off. Yeah, turn the PDC off. Um, and we can actually change the dynamic lines and all that stuff. Cool. Oh, no PDC. Okay, so we're going to see how long this takes to go for this to pop up. There's Craig. This is about two and a half seconds or so. Am I staying down there? There you go. And then you can turn on the dynamic lines. Mike, you want to show them how to do that? So there's options there. To turn on the lines, turn off the lines. Change the brightness levels. That's contrast. Contrast. That's the brightness. brightness. All the way off. And just off. And then we don't have parking control, distance control sensors, but kind of gives you an aerial view if that was an option. All right. All right, guys. So that was about it for coding the rear backup camera on my E92 M3. We did try to do some additional coding. Um, I also wanted 
you know, I wanted the windows to roll up when the doors were open. I wanted DVD in motion. I wanted um, Euro hazards and four, four blank turn signals. But for some reason, we had problems reconnecting to the FRM module. Um, so I was not able to do any of those. But the other modules we were able to connect to. So um, we did do the Euro MDM um, upgrade and a couple other little things here and there. But Mike is going to try to figure out what the issue is and why it wasn't connecting to my FRM module, but we did do some of that coding stuff on Craig's car. Um, we did not document that, but um, hopefully, hopefully we can figure out what was wrong with mine and, and do that in a later video. But for the time being, the rear backup camera does work. Everything is phenomenal on it. It pops up pretty instantaneously, and I'm happy with my purchase. So um, other than that, I guess... That's it, that kind of wraps up the entire rear backup camera from Bimmertech. So if you got any questions, please let me know in the comments and uh, we'll see you guys on the next video.